Welcome back everyone. I hope you are fine. Today our topic is uh, practical applications of electrostatics. Uh, now we can discuss about only using electrostatic uh, photocopier machine working a uh, photocopier machine. So in the picture a lot of parts inside a photocopier machine there is a paper store a drum drum is rotated uh, drum is rotated and heater heat the paper and uh, there is a mirror reflected light there's light source emit from the light 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 source uh, and toner roller this toner roller is store toner powder and drum charger is charged the drum and this space to be copied here we can uh, keep on the glass of sheet oh, we can uh, keep a uh, original page to be copied so use of a static electricity static electricity can be dangerous uh, but it can also be useful as long as it is used carefully example of uses of a static electricity photocopiers and printers as spray Painting and uh, pollutant removers, defibrillators. Then now we can discuss about photocopiers and printers. So how to work a photocopier machine? A photocopier uses electrostatic charge to produce a copy. The original, uh, the page you want copied is placed onto a glass of sheet. There is, there is a glass of sheet. The page is uh, to be copied this original uh, the, an image of this page is projected onto a positively charged drum uh, the drum has a coating that contact electricity or light falls on it the light uh, emit from the light source is falling on the original uh, or the original uh, page to be copied and it's then it's reflected from the mirror and incidence on the drum. The drum has a coating with contact electricity when light falls on it. The parts of the drum, the parts of the drum which are lit by the projected image lost their electrostatic charge. These parts of the drum uh, lost their electrostatic charge when they start to conduct. So, a black powder called toner is negatively charged. There is a toner is a negatively charged. The toner is attracted to the positively charged parts of the drum. The drum rotates and rolls against a piece of copier paper. The toner is transferred from the drum to the paper making a black and white image of the original. Finally, the paper is heated by the heater which makes the toner stick to it. This is called a fixing the image. When you use a photocopier, you can feel that a copy paper is still warm. So now we can sh shortly brief that the uh, original paper uh, keep on a, a glass a sheet of glass and a light source emit from the light source light fall on the original and reflected then again reflected from the mirror mirror and a, its incidence on the drum the drum the drum is positively charged positively charged uh, on the other hand there is a toner roller there is a toner powder is uh, negatively is negatively charged the negatively charged toner powder attracted to the uh, positive charge parts of the drum and uh, uh, when a light fall on it then it's contact electricity then uh, the paper is heated by the heater to be fixing the toner powder on the paper 
paper and and finally is uh, uh, finally is, uh, fixing on the image and copiers uh, from the original uh, to find out a uh, copy so this is the method of this uh, photocopier machine how to work that way thanks uh, thank you for watching our videos and subscribe our YouTube channel